Now, shark nets. Are you willing to swim at beaches right up the east coast of Australia this summer without the shark nets that have traditionally been in place to protect you? Alarmingly, several New South Wales councils and some MPs are lobbying the New South Wales State Government to go without shark nets this summer for the first time in almost 100 years. 51 nets are usually installed off beaches in New South Wales between September and April next year, uh, each year. And, of course, these are the most populous beaches. These are the beaches that people go to. But councils like Waverley, home to the world-famous Bondi Beach, and other councils up and down the New South Wales coast, they now favour drones and drum lines instead. I challenged Paula Masalos, the Waverley Mayor, yesterday on whether the wishes of beach users have been considered. This is the responsibility of the state government and we are working with the state government. And uh, if uh, the state government wishes to undertake a community consultation, we will certainly be engaged in doing that. But shouldn't but people get a, get a say now? You're already lobbying to get rid of the century. nets, but the people who use the beaches haven't been asked. There was um, a consultation that the state government did in 2021 and council did resolve that, with, uh, that meshing was actually not the best way of protecting our beaches. All right, then since the mayor claims the shark nets are a state government responsibility, let's bring in Dougald Saunders, the New South Wales Agri Agriculture Minister, joining us live from Dubbo. Good to talk to you, Dougald. Um, will the state government pull these nets out this summer? Yeah, good day, Chris. Good, good to join you. Look, there's, there's no plan, absolutely no plan to be doing that. What we have is a record investment in all shark mitigation strategies, and that includes those smart drum lines you mentioned, over 300 of those. It includes about 25,000 square k's of coverage from drones and more investment in long-range drones that can do much more than we've seen previously, uh, and also the listening stations. So 37 of those up and down the coast that mean we can track sharks when they're tagged and know exactly where they are. But it all runs hand in hand with that meshing program, which uh, since 1937 has been successful. We've only had one uh, attack at a, at a meshed beach since that time. Um, is there more that we can do? Absolutely. And that's why we're investing in technology. Uh, but we're not looking at doing anything differently for this summer. We're just looking at ramping everything up to make sure that we are keeping everyone who goes to the beach absolutely safe. Well, that's really good to hear. I mean, obviously, look at these other new technologies, the tagging and, and the releasing and the, and, the drone, uh, and the drone patrols and the like. But as you say, in almost 100 years of protected beaches, there's only been one fatality. And this is obviously where most people go swimming. These are the popular beaches that are netted, while there's been 60 or more shark fatalities on non-protected beaches. So the, the proof is there. They do save human lives. And I think it would be outrageous if they were pulled out without the public having a strong say in it. Yeah, and look, that's the point, Chris, isn't it? At the end of the day, um, there, there will need to be some proper consultation that happens. And, and that really, I think, will come down to councils doing direct community surveys, direct community engagement. And that's not going to happen in a couple of weeks. That needs to be an extended period where over a summer, people are able to talk about what they're feeling about their local beach or the beach they're visiting and how they want to see that into the future. So that's not a decision we need to be rushing into. What, what we will continue to do is make everyone who goes as a tourist or as a resident to a, a beautiful beach up and down the coast, we'll provide all of those technological solutions like the smart drum lines, like the listening stations, like the drones. And if we can find more technology along the way, we'll do that as well. At the end of the day, you're exactly right. People need to have a say. We're not going to tell them what to do. At some point, they will come forward and say what they want to do. There's plenty of unprotected beaches. There's plenty of beaches. Most of the beaches around the country are not netted and there's no problem for fish and for sharks. These are just the popular beaches. I mean, imagine if Bondi Rescue is being broadcast all around the world and someone's taken by a great white at Bondi. That's going to really boost Australia's tourism industry, isn't it? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, um, it'll be my phone that's ringing if something goes wrong or the premiers or the deputy premiers. So it, it is a consideration that we're making sure we're doing absolutely everything we can to protect human life. It's about shark mitigation, doing everything we can to keep us and them separate. 
That doesn't mean we're going on a, you know, a war against sharks, but what it does mean is we're trying to make all of our beaches as safe as they possibly can be. And to my way of thinking, that involves a mix of technologies. We've got a great meshing program that's been successful. Uh, we've got fantastic technology now that's making a real difference that we're tracking and you can see on your, your phone on an app um, each and every day before you go to the beach, you can see if there's any activity up and down the coastline near you from the Shark Smart app. That's fantastic. We'll continue to improve that. And we'll, I'm sure, at some stage hear from councils and community about what they think. But in the meantime, it's all about keeping people safe. Great to hear, Dougal. Thanks for joining us. Good on you, Chris. Nice to talk to you. Dougal Saunders there. He's, uh, it's good reassuring to hear that those uh, shark nets are not going to be abandoned this summer, uh, preemptively. But uh, long term, you've got to be careful about this. Not much good having an app telling you there's all these sharks out there and the nets have gone. Then no one will get in the water. Stinking hot day. And uh, I'll see how many sharks are around. We've got to be very careful about this, sensible about this. There are plenty of unprotected beaches.